back in uh, the early 1920s, there was the intent to have some sort of air traffic control system, but it was very, very different from what we have nowadays. What did the airport look like when it was first opened? Well, it was a grass airfield. It was repurposed World War I buildings. Uh, we didn't really have much of the infrastructure that you have now because air travel and the concept of an airport was a completely new thing. You didn't have the technology you have nowadays, so we see radio comes into its own. That was developed quite rapidly during World War I, and that made it a great deal of difference to what you could do with aircraft when it came to communication, but also navigation as well. One of the properties of a, a radio wave is that you can trace its source, so you can use that to get a bearing from uh, a transmission. I think the really early pioneers of air traffic would probably struggle to recognise this room here, but air traffic has been throughout its hundred years about pioneering technology in pursuit of making flying safer. Air travel is growing. Um, it has been doing so for 100 years. We need to make sure that we provide the capacity that people need and to do that safely, we continue to invest in technology. We've got a billion pound investment programme underway at the moment, about halfway through. 